Greetings Captain, Gunship here. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to tell you all you need to know about the Fuso, which is a new Japanese battleship that are going to be released in Ice and Fire. So not in the game yet, but I have played around with it on the development server. Now it has six main turrets, so 12 gun broadside, 15 inch guns or 36 centimeters if you like. It got 16 secondary guns, so eight on each side. 15 centimeters are about a little bit more than six inch. And it got quite a amount of AA as well. So you got a lot of 25 millimeter autocannons on this ship. You got 16 uh, dual, you've got 33 singles, and you also have eight uh, times three cannons as well. A total about 89 25 millimeters. And if that wasn't enough, then there is an additional 10 13.2 millimeters as well to take care of the AA. So quite ample and quite close to the Congo in terms of AA performance. Now let's start off with showing you the armor that this ship has. And as you can see, we're here on the diff server. And if I just click on armor and remove this so we've got a bit more space. You can see you've got a reasonable armor belt of 305 millimeters, roll cement higher up, and you've got quite a number of plates going along the side. Main thickness around the, the cannons here, about 300. And if I turn off the external armor, I'll just remove that. You can see there's lots of plates also in the front here to protect against any shot coming in from from that angle for the magazines. And there's also some protection here at the back. Not quite as much. So I think, you know, basically angle and frontal uh, is the best way you can defend yourself against incoming fire from an armor point of view. So with that out of the way, how does the Fuso compare against the competition? Well, let's start by looking at the Congo and Hyuge. And quite frankly, if you took and merged those two ships together, you would probably sort of come off with the Fuso. So you get the main guns of the Hyuge and you have the AA of the Congo, more or less. And as you can see from this diagram here, it gets the Fusos into a quite a nice position. But the things that I would highlight here is you get a good armor belt for the Fuso of the 305 millimeter. You get a high crew count, 1900. This is vastly more than the Congos and the Hugues. The speed is more on the Hugues sort of speed limit of uh, 46 kilometers an hour, but it's not bad for an older style battleship, so to speak. I put the displacement there just so you can have a a gander of that in between. And then the main thing with calculation here is the broadside. So we've got for the Fuso a broadside of 12 guns and eight for the secondaries. And you've got the reload time, time between shots, yada, yada, yada. It ultimately gets that you're using SAP as your main round pretty much with the Fuso or any of these ships here. 68.64 kilos of TNT in the SAP round. This is very good. And as you can see, the Fuso is just etching ahead uh, of the Hyuge in terms of the amount of TNT it can put down on the target per minute. So well, now we know the Fuso is the best of Japan. Let's compare it to the rest of the 7.0 ships that we have in the game. Starting with the Germans. And here we got the Schornhorst and Bayern. And as you can see, the Schornhorst follows up in terms of certainly speed is quicker. Got the same amount of crew. And then it starts niggling off a little bit. Yes, the Schornhorst does have some torpedoes as well. But if you look in terms of amount of firepower, the Fuso is ahead by amount to double. And the Bayern is not much better and it lacks AA. Also, it has a low crew count. So Fuso here is definitely a winner. The US fleet, for reasons unknown to man, only has one 7.0 ship. As you can see, the Alaska here. It is a very good ship, but the armor belt is not as good. 
and also the amount of hate seed per minute is lagging a little bit behind. So the Fuso here again looks to be the winner. Moving on to the British, we have the Hood and the Marlboro. And you can see the Hood is lagging a little bit in crew. Gained a bit in speed, but it's a big target as you well know. Got the biggest displacement. And because it only has an 8 gun broadside, and the sap ammunition is not as good, it is under half the amount of TNT per minute. Now the Marlboro, however, has a very big filler, 88 kilos of TNT in the shells. And as you can see there, it does just beat the Fusil in terms of HC per minute. However, the crew count is low and it has no AA to speak of. So again, overall here, the Fusil comes out on top. Last but not least, we have Russia, sorry Italy, if you do get a 7.0 battleship in this patch then I will certainly include you. But for now, we only have the Russians that got any 7.0 left. And so we got the Kronstadt and the Paris Communa. And as you can see here, in terms of raw firepower, they're pretty close. But the crew count is a little bit less and the armor belt is also a little bit lower. Again, the Kronstadt is probably really the ship to beat. And I think the Fusa might just be the ship that can do it. So I hope that was very useful to you all. And if you like that video and you like what I've done with the comparison and stuff like that, then please write so in the comments. And as always, if you have been, thank you for watching. And if you wouldn't mind, subscribing and liking and all that kind of nonsense that would be good too thanks a lot gunship out